A masterful cat named Yukichi taught me how to make delicious tuna stuffed bell peppers which I'll be showing you how to make as well. First, you'll remove the core of a green bell pepper. Use a small knife to remove the core of the bell pepper by cutting a circle around the stem area. Note, I am using a bigger bell pepper than what you would normally find in Japan which is bite size in comparison so I adjusted Yukichi's recipe for the bigger bell pepper. After you cut around the core, you can easily remove it. Next, lay the bell pepper flat side down, then cut in half vertically. Shake out the loose seeds and physically remove the seeds still stuck to the bell pepper. As you want a bigger cavity to fill with tuna, cut off the inner walls of the bell pepper. Next, you'll dice 30 grams of onion. After you're done dicing, Preheat your oven to 392 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. Add the diced onions to 9 grams of well-drained canned tuna in a bowl. The tuna I used is canned in water but you can also use canned in oil if you like. Just be sure to drain it well. Add a few pinches of salt and pepper to taste. Mix everything together. Stuff the bell pepper with the tuna mixture. Pack in as much as you can from edge to edge. Cut a slice of cheese in half. I used American cheese. Place each half of cheese vertically on top of the tuna mixture. After you place the cheese, put the tuna stuffed bell peppers into the preheated oven for 7 to 8 minutes. When the bell peppers are done cooking, you'll put ketchup on top of the cheese. You can do it in an S shape for appearance, though mine came out a little funny looking due to the squeeze bottle. You can enjoy the stuffed bell peppers with a drink, such as a cold can of beer or a cup of tea if you're working, like Yukichi's owner, Saku. Let's taste the tuna stuffed bell peppers the masterful cat Yukichi taught me from his recipe book. Itadakimasu! Mmm, there's lots of flavor going on in my mouth along with mouthfeel. You get the fresh taste and crunch of the bell pepper, but it's not raw tasting since it was cooked in the oven. You can taste the tuna along with small hints of the onion flavor permeating your mouth since it's been cooked. The cheese gives you a nice texture along with a slightly sharp flavor which mingles with the tanginess of the ketchup. I can already tell this will be a filling meal. Though if you made the original recipe from Yukichi's recipe book, each half of the bell pepper would be more bite sized and as a side dish of the meal, such as Saku's bento. Ah, <sighs> the taste of beer really goes well with the stuffed bell peppers. So if you're eating this at home, and of legal drinking age of course, you should crack open a can and try out this combo. 
I did notice after I had eaten away the cheese and ketchup, the flavor became a little monotonous. As it was meant to be bite sized, you would normally eat everything in roughly two bites rather than multiple bites with this bigger bell pepper. So if you're going to use a bigger bell pepper like I did, I suggest stuffing the bell pepper halfway then put half a slice of cheese on top of that before putting the rest of the tuna on top of that slice of cheese then topping it with another half slice of cheese like we originally had. This will give it the flavor it needs to not be monotonous. And you can put ketchup on top of it too so it can taste just as good as your first bite. Hope you enjoy making it and eating it too. Let us know how you liked it in the comments. Did you know that Japanese bell pepper is disliked by children in Japan like how broccoli is disliked by children in America? In fact, this recipe revolved around Saku's co-workers asking her if there was anything she disliked eating when they saw her eating the commonly disliked bell pepper. Turns out when Yukichi was a kitten and making food for the then picky eater Saku, he made the ingredients she disliked into dishes she did enjoy eating. It also helped that Saku imagined how much effort the cute Yukichi put into making her meals, especially since he can't taste them himself since he is a cat. Now Saku is no longer a picky eater due to Yukichi's delicious cooking. The recipe is for 1 to 2 servings. You'll need 1 green bell pepper, 30 grams of onion, 1 slice of cheese or as I recommend 2 for more flavor, 9 ounces of drained canned tuna, water or oil packed, salt and pepper to taste, and ketchup. The ingredients you'll need to buy to make this recipe will be linked to in the description. Support the mangaka of The Masterful Cat is Depressed Again today, Hitsuzi Yamada, by buying the manga. The manga has currently been translated into English up to volume 5 of the 7 volumes in Japanese. I'll have links in the description for you to buy it in either English or Japanese. It's a very enjoyable slice of life and cooking manga following the daily life of Yukichi the masterful cat who can do all sorts of housework and his strong work management yet lazy at home owner Saku who loves Yukichi very much, especially his cooking. You can also buy Yukichi's recipe book filled with dishes you see in the manga, like I did, but it's currently only in Japanese. Hopefully there will be an English translation for it and future volumes of the manga as well in the near future. Look forward to the masterful Cat is Depressed Again Today anime coming soon in July 2023. Check out our other Masterful Cat recipe, Seaweed Chicken Meatballs Over Rice, which we will link to in the description and follow along as we make more tasty dishes from Yukichi's recipe book in the future. Hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you did. Thank you. Until next time, see ya!